Australia. Good morning, Iowa. Good morning, Georgia. Good morning, Jamila. Good morning, good morning, good morning, Shell Rush. Tulsa Blaze, Savita, Lisa, Sally Ann. Good morning, Delaware. Sue Sorensen. Good morning. Aloha, Hawaii. Good morning, Cecil. Linda Powers. Good morning. Rhonda, Gainesville, Kentucky, Rochester, St. Louis, California, the Netherlands in the house. Good morning, Michael. Bahrain, we need an awakening blaze in Bahrain. Indianapolis. Renee, good to see you on the broadcast. Now that you're here, we can really pray. Hey, Shakata. We need an awakening blaze in Buenos Aires. My goodness. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. I don't know where everybody is. It's time to wake up. Intercessors Retreat, tinyurl.com slash prophetic retreat. Join me. Let's run. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, author of our devotional, Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. God is good all the time. I'm the senior leader at the Awakening House in South Florida, an epicenter in the region to equip people to do what they are called to do. Praise God. Today's devotion titled, Remain stable as seasons change. Well, there you go. That's a good word. I don't care where you're from. Remain stable when seasons change. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Seasons never last. They are turbulent seasons. There are, there are turbulent seasons and seasons in which you feel as if you are on top of the world. The key is stability. Whether a new season brings increase or challenges, rely on me. To help you remain stable and vigilant, 
says the Lord. The enemy is always roaming about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. But Jesus has already delivered you from the mouth of the lion. Oh, come on now. So stand strong and rejoice as your season shifts. Victory belongs to you. Amen. Today's scripture references Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. 2 Timothy 4 and 17, and Psalm 139, verse 16. And the prayer started for today, teach me how to remain constant, no matter what the season. Show me how to walk through each season of my life with a wisdom and stability that will speak to those who don't know Jesus yet. Give me a keen spirit to avoid the snares of the enemy. Father, I thank you this morning for your goodness and your glory. I thank you, Lord, for your greatness and your glory. I thank you, Lord, for your generosity and your glory. I thank you, Lord, that you've not called us to walk in grief, but to walk in glory. We give you praise and honor. We magnify your name because you are worthy of all praise. You are worthy of all honor. We magnify the name of Jesus. We magnify your goodness in our lives. We magnify your movement in our lives. We magnify your presence in our lives above everything else. Above every demon attack, above every grievous circumstance, above every issue and circumstance and uh, problem and challenge and obstacle and hindrance and harassment and persecution, we lift up the name of Jesus. Jesus, would you help us keep you in the center of our focus, God? Would you help us to keep you in the center of our focus, that you would be the biggest thing that we see? You would be bigger than our ambition. You would be bigger than the enemy opposition. You will be bigger than our heart, greater than our heart, bigger, greater, taller, larger. Come on, God is larger than life. You, Jesus, you are larger than life. You're larger than life. Whatever it is that's going on in our lives, you're larger than life. Whatever it is in our past that's trying to overshadow our present, you are larger than our past. You are larger than our future. You are our future. We're going closer, walking closer walking closer and closer to you every day to that eternal reward God we thank you and we praise you we thank you God help us to remember that our life is not our own we belong to you we were bought with a price you didn't leave us here on this earth to play a patty cake with the devil to be willy nilly and mamsy pamsy but you've called us to be warriors you've called us to stand and withstand you've called us to display your wisdom to the principles principalities and powers. Father, we declare your wisdom to the principalities and powers. I say we declare the wisdom of God to the principalities and powers. We decree the wisdom of God is greater than the attacks of the principalities and powers. We say you defeated the principalities and powers, making an open show of them, putting them to shame. You triumphed over them in the cross. Father, we thank you today that we can get up on the cross and die to self the self that the enemy tries to use against us. We can hop up on that cross and we can say, Lord, we decide, we choose to crucify our flesh. We choose to crucify that that self-pity and to crucify that me, 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 me mentality and to crucify that weariness and to crucify. We're going to get up all, we're going to pick up our cross today rather and follow Jesus. Yeah, Jesus was weary when he was carrying his cross. He grew weary. He was dragging that cross down the Della Rosa road before he was nailed to it. He had to carry it. He had to pick it up and carry it. He was bruised and beaten and bloodied. He been through war. He was about to go to hell and back, but I'm sure he probably already felt like he'd been through hell and back. He was wounded. He was scraped. He was bruised. He was bloodied. He was mocked. He was persecuted. It was hard to carry that cross. Some of you have a cross to bear in this season, and it's causing you grief. It's causing you pain. It's causing you sorrow. It's causing weariness. Oh, it's not easy to bear the cross sometimes, but we've all got a cross to 
to bear. It's not easy, but it becomes easier when you keep your eyes on Jesus. It becomes tolerable when you remember why you're fighting. It becomes uh, 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 possible when you look at the God of all possibilities. God said, with man, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. God, give us the faith. Help us believe. Help us to keep moving one foot in front of the other foot, in front of the other foot. When we're walking toward the ultimate battle, Jesus picked up his cross and carried it, but that wasn't his ultimate battle. That was wearisome. It was grievous. It was painful. It was hard, but that wasn't even his ultimate battle. Some of you are walking through a season right now where you've picked up your cross and you've crucified your flesh, but there's more to crucify. You picked up your cross and you're following Jesus, but it's a long road ahead to get to the other side. But guess what? Let me tell you something. It's not as long as what it looks like. Just keep walking. Just keep moving. Just keep making it to the next goalpost. Just keep putting one foot in front of another. And if God has to send people to help you to bear your cross, he'll do it. He'll do it. He'll just like the man along the way who was ordered. He was ordered to help Jesus carry his cross. God will ordain people around you. Well, you don't think you can move one more step. When you don't think you can run another race. When you don't think you can jump again. When you don't think you can even crawl. When you, God will ordain people around you to help you bear your cross. They're called intercessors. Because there comes a moment along the road to De La Rosa, along the De La Rosa road. There comes a moment on the way to your ultimate. Uh, see, here's the thing. Some of you, the Lord is calling you to crucify your flesh at another level because he's got another level for you. But you can't get to the next level with the flesh that's on you. Do you hear me? There's another level. There's... <laughs> Oh, there's another level there's another level for you but you can't take the extra flesh from this level to the next level now we're always going to have flesh hear me we're always going to have flesh to deal with to contend with to put down to crucify but the place God wants to take you to in this next season is epic but you can't take that rotten flesh it's rotting that's why it stinks. That's why it's manifesting. Because it's rotting. It's halfway dead. You're almost there. You're, you decided at some point, I'm going to be better. I'm going to be stronger. I'm going to press into God. And in that moment, a crucifixion process started on your flesh. It's called mortification. But it's not all the way dead yet. That's why it still talks. That's why it still screams. That's why it still pouts. That's why it still feels sorry for itself. Because it's dying. But it's not dead yet. Come on now. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of the Lord. You can't get to the next level with this rotting flesh, this chunk of flesh the Lord is trying to deliver you from. You're being changed from glory to glory. Don't grieve over dying flesh. Glorify the Lord for the process because you're going higher. I said you're going to another level. So embrace the process, beloved. Embrace the process. Embrace the process. It doesn't feel good. Some of you feel like you're losing your mind. It doesn't feel good. Call the intercessor. Say, I'm struggling. I can see where I'm going, but I don't know how to get there. My flesh is rising up. I don't want to fight any longer. I'm weary. The Bible says, the Bible, the Bible, the Bible in Galatians says, bear one another's burdens. There are times when you need to be a burden bearer for somebody else. There are times when you need to bear somebody's burden. Learn what season you're in. Don't be selfish around when the people around you need help carrying their cross. Because you might need help carrying yours in the next season. Ah, sure, I'm telling you, I sense epic, 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 epic next level. <laughs> Gosh, I got some of you got some epic flesh you need to put down. But it's going to be all right. I know you get weary. Oh, sure, I got that. You got to let go. You got to let go. You got to let go of the works of the flesh. If you're jealous of somebody who just got promoted, my friend, let it go. Because God won't promote you with jealousy in your heart. 
If you're hurt by somebody who wounded you, controlled you, abused you, manipulated you, let it go. Forgive. Because God can't promote you with that bitterness in your heart. Let go of the works of the flesh and embrace the fruit of the Spirit. Reject the fruit of the flesh and rejoice in the fruit of the Spirit. Oh, Father, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. There's a next level. There's an epic promotion. I'm telling you, I saw it all over the place. When I was somewhere preaching, I saw it all over. It was Baltimore. I saw it all over. I saw it all over. I saw it all over. I saw the enemy has picked a fight for you because he doesn't want to see the Lord promote you, but he doesn't have any control over that. The enemy only has the authority over you that you give him, the control that you give him. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us, Lord, to be willing to walk and keep on walking. To run and keep on rocking. To, 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 to jump and keep on jumping. Lord, help us to follow you. Help us to, help us to pick up the cross and keep following you. You modeled the way, Jesus. You didn't stop halfway and say, I'm tired, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not going, you can carry me if you want to, but I'm not walking. No, he persevered. Lord, give us epic perseverance today. God, would you help us? Give us epic perseverance to contend against the principalities and powers that are contending against us. God, would you help us? Give us new strategies, Jesus. Give us new wisdom, Lord. You said the church is to make known the wisdom of God to the principalities and powers. God, would you give us your wisdom to declare? God, give us your wisdom to proclaim against the principalities and powers that are trying to take us out, trying to overtake us, trying to jack us up. God, would you help us today? Jesus, we thank you for your wisdom. Your wisdom is flawless. Your wisdom is glorious. Your wisdom is awesome. Your wisdom. We declare your wisdom. The wisdom of your gospel, your wisdom. The wisdom of your healing power, your wisdom. The wisdom of your deliverance, your wisdom. Ah, shekete, your wisdom. It's your wisdom we're declaring. We're proclaiming it in the heavens. Some of you have been dealing with counterattacks because you fought a battle. The Lord brought you into it. You were on target, but the counterattack was greater than the original attack, and you're reeling. You set your face like flint. You ran to the battle line like David. You had the determination, the wherewithal, and the counterattack was greater than the original attack. And you're reeling, R-E-E-L-I-N, reeling, like stumbling, like staggering. But the Lord would say to you today, I am sending reinforcements to strengthen the work of your hand. I am sending people round and about you who understand my ways and who understand the enemy, says the Lord. And I will strengthen you if you, if you, if you determine in your heart to have the resolve that I've called you to. I will strengthen you if you determine in your mind to stay the course. I will strengthen you, says the Lord, if you determine... That you cannot fail because you cannot fail. You will only fail, says the Lord, if you quit. And I've not created you to be a quitter because I've created you in my image. And I never quit and I never lose. Therefore, when you sit in my presence, when you understand that you're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, when you get the revelation of who you are, you will never think quit again. You will think conquer. You'll move from a quitting mindset, says God, to a conquering mindset, says God, because I've called you not just to be a conqueror and not just to be more than a conqueror, but to be a super conqueror. You are a supernatural being, says the Lord, because I created you as a spirit and you have a fleshly tent and I know it gives you fits. fits. Your, your flesh wants to tell you what you can do, what you should have, but your mind must overtake your flesh and your spirit must lead your mind. Your spirit must be in control. You must renew yourself. With the spirit of the word, says the Lord.
So rise up now and run to the battle line again. I know last time it wasn't easy and it looked like you lost, but you didn't lose. Pick up your weapons, put on your armor, stand with your shoulders back and your head held high and look to me as you run. Look up as you run. Don't look ahead because the enemy will intimidate you. Don't stare him in the eyes because his fierceness will overwhelm your natural mind. But look upon me and look into my eyes, says the Lord. Look into my eyes eyes my eyes my eyes of love my eyes of fire says the Lord and you will gain the confidence you need and the courage and the strength that you need to keep on running 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 until you run smack dab into your enemy and take his head off like David did with Goliath father we thank you we thank you we thank you we thank you for the opportunity to fight again I thank you that we can fight another the day. I thank you, Lord, even if we gave up and laid our weapons down, we can pick them back up again. We can pick them back up again. We can practice. We can do target shooting. We can swing the sword until our arms are sore so that we build the muscles. We build our faith muscles. We build our authority muscles. We build our, come on, somebody needs to build your faith muscles today. Your authority, somebody's got arms, got tired holding up the shield. That's what intercessors are for. Call the intercessors. Come on, I need some intercessors to stand with me today. Call the intercessors. Call the intercessors. Call the intercessors. Say, help me lift up my arms. Like Aaron and Hur held up Moses' arms as the Israelites were fighting. And when they held up his arms, Israel would win. And when, when Moses' arms would go weary and he would, he would begin to, to let them drop to his sides, Israel would begin to lose. A threefold cord is not easily broken. Lord, help us today to join forces with the right intercessors because there are some Jezebelic ones who want to prophesy wrongly, who want to declare that we're full of doubt and full of this and full of that and pray faux prayers. Oh, Lord, strengthen her. Strengthen them, Lord, when inside their heart there's murder. Lord, help us to find the right intercessors, Jesus. The right ones who hear from you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Not the gossiping intercessors. The intercessors that want to see us fall. The intercessors that just want to look cool. The intercessors who just want to seem spiritual. God, get those out of our lives. The ones with the wrong motives. Root them out. Root them out. They're making it worse. Some of you have intercessors around you and they're making it worse. And you think, you, you think that they're helping you and they're not helping you. They're gossiping about you. I'm talking to you by the Spirit of the Lord. They're gossiping about you. They're not helping you. They're not even praying. Some of you, some of you leaders have intercessors out there and they're not helping you. They're making it worse. Root them out, God. Root out the motives. We don't need no gossiping. We don't need gossipers. We need intercessors. It, 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 some people have confused the, the word gossip with intercession. They're not synonyms, saints. It's not a synonym. An intercessor is not a synonym for a gossip. And a gossip is not a synonym for an intercessor. Give me a break, would you please? Give me a royal break. Root them out, Lord. Some of you have intercessors. They're praying witchcraft over you. That's why you feel in witchcraft. You think it's Jezebel. Hey, Jezebel, it's your intercessors gossiping and praying witchcraft over you. Trying to control you. Trying to control your ministry with their prayers. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm exposing something right now. Somebody's about to get real mad with me. Speak, Lord. Somebody's about to get real mad with me. Some of y'all leaders out there. Some of y'all... <laughs> Why you got witchcraft at you all the time? Because your intercessor is a Jezebel. Oh my goodness, did I just say that? Lord, get the Jezebel off the intercessors or get the intercessors out of our way that are Jezebelic. Some of you got a mole on the inside. Some of you got an intercessor who ain't on your side. I'm not saying all of you. I said some of you. Some of you, you, you know, who you think your best friend is, ain't your best friend at all. They're working for the enemy. They don't know it. They're just being used. They wouldn't hurt you on purpose for the man on the moon. 
They just got issues. They like to be heard. They like to be seen. They like to be in the know. So they blah, 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 blah to everybody. Or give us discernment of who our real intercessors are. And who are those who are opportunists, just looking for a way in, looking for something to share, looking to be, looking like they got something to, to the, the, like they on the inside. Lord, help us. Help us, Lord. Teach those intercessors. Correct them by your spirit with love and grace. Show them the error of their ways so that their gift can be used rightly for your kingdom. Teach them, Lord, what it means to really stand in the gap. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let the true intercessors rise up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I see some of you moving from epic grief to epic glory. Epic grief to epic glory. There's been some epic grief in your life, but it's paving the way for glory. In other words, as you work your way through this process and you understand how to deal with the sorrow, how to deal with the pain, how to deal with the torment, how to deal with that grief, it's like a persistent grief. Some of you, it's on the inside of you. It's deep. It's deep and it needs healing. Others of you it's coming from the outside it's just grief from the outside just people giving you grief 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 just people giving you grief just bringing grief to your grievous news grievous problems grievous work performance grievous gossip grievous whatever but some of you it's on the inside and there's healing for grief today in the name of Jesus so father I just speak healing over all those who are grieving grieving deaths grieving losses grieving uh, whatever they're grieving great steep sorrow grieving sorrow circumstances that didn't work out grieving what could have been instead of instead of looking at what is God I ask you to bring healing to grief in the name of Jesus Lord heal us from grief today in Jesus name heal us from grief today in Jesus name that deep sorrow that that deep sense of loss Lord let 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 your spirit just fill that place of loss in Jesus name help us Lord Help us, Lord. 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 Heal us from grief. And, Lord, all those who have been uh, just be, 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 seeing grief from the outside, just grief coming at you, coming at you, coming at you. Grief from teenagers. Grief from prodigals. Grief from, from workplace. Grief from church, 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 church hurt. Grief. All this grief coming at you. I just bind it in the name of the Lord. Lord, help us to respond rightly to the outside grievances. Lord, heal us from the inside grievances. Lord, help us, Lord, to deal rightly with the outside grievances before they become internal grievances. God, would you help us, Lord, to stand against the, the, the spirit of grief, the thoughts of grief, the notion of grief, and turn our minds toward the healing power of God, turn our hearts toward the healer who is Jesus, turn our hearts toward the Holy Spirit who is the comforter. God, would you help us today to make that transition, that transition from grief to glory, that transition from grief to glory, that transition from grief to glory, to glory. I just heard the Lord say, the greater the grief, the greater the glory. But you got to get rid of the grief. I'm talking about the sorrow, the deep sense of loss. Let the Lord take the grief so that he can take you to the next glory. Your grief will hold you back from your next glory because there's just something there. There's, it, it, it can hold you back. It, it might not. I shouldn't say it will, but it can. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for correcting that. Your grief can hold you back or delay your next glory because you're stuck in that place of grieving. You're stuck in that place of sorrow, and you can't seem to move forward. But God is trying to move you forward, always trying to move you forward, always trying to move you forward. God is progressive. He's always moving. We live by every word that comes out of his mouth, not the word only from yesterday. You know, God... <laughs> Wow, God, thank you. You know, some of you are holding on to prophetic words from 10 years ago that, how do I say this? Some words you have to fight for for 10 or 20 years. Other words was God's will for a season. And some of you are holding on to prophetic words that are no longer in season. And so because you're holding on to that word, you're holding on to the people that were mentioned in that word. You're holding on to the place, the job, the ministry position, the friend that was connected to that word. 
But sometimes personal prophecy is just seasonal. Yes, sometimes you have to fight in war for something for 10 or 20 years. But other times you have to let go of something after 10 or 20 years. Because there's a new word for you. There's a new word for you. Sometimes there's just a new word for you. <laughs> sometimes we hold on to something. But I had a word. But seasons change. Assignments shift. Lord, help us to be in season. Hallelujah. Help us to be in season. Help us to transition well. Help us to shift with you. Help us to discern your will. That we might not hold on to something that you're calling us to let go of. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeshua called twice a word for somebody. Some of you, you're standing on a word that has expired. It was seasonal. You're standing, you're warm with a prophetic word because you don't want to let go. And you see things are changing, things are slipping, things are moving, things are, are just, it's a whirlwind. And it's because God is trying to bring change and you're resisting the change. You're resisting the change because you're, you, you believe that you're supposed to resist it. You think it's the enemy, but it's not the enemy. It's God. Some of you, it's God. Some of you, it's just God. He's, he's trying to shift you, but you're holding on to an old prophetic word. Personal prophecies, aren't not, not, not all of them are, they, they don't mark you forever. Some of them are seasonal. I mean, if, you got, if the Lord prophesies you're going to marry this one, then that's not a seasonal prophecy. You're going to marry that one, you're going to stay married. You don't get to get a new word about a new husband. It doesn't work that way. But when it comes to, you know, assignments, sometimes when it comes to friends, sometimes, you know, there's friends that are for a season, for a reason, and there are friends that are for a life. There are certain, there's some people are in churches for a season. Some, of the, some people are in churches for life. Some people are in jobs for a season. Some people are in jobs for life. But don't try to stay in something for life that God's called you to for only a season. Hallelujah. God is good. 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 Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Got to have discernment. Lord, I pray discernment over your people. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I want to give you an opportunity to sow today, as we always do. I give you the opportunity. No one's twisting your arm. Some people get mad when I do this. But that's okay. There's no reason to be mad. Just put me on mute. Go brush your teeth. And I'll be teaching in a minute. You can just consume all the teaching and... Receive all the goodness. Don't get mad. Don't get, don't let this ruin your morning. Don't, don't let this be the time where you start gnashing your teeth at me. Just, just put the phone down. And go eat some cereal. Get some pop tarts, and I'll be done in about 120 seconds. Amen. It's all right. Don't get mad, get glad. Jesus loves you. He wants to bring you breakthrough. Don't get mad. Don't let the enemy rob from you all the glorious prayers we just prayed by getting mad because I'm giving people an opportunity to give. I don't know who's on here, but that's who I'm responding to. I don't look at the comments, and you're probably not commenting. I don't know who you are, but don't get mad. Be happy. God loves you. Like there's somebody on here, and every morning when I start to to say this, you, you get off. And then you come back on five minutes later. I see you. It's all right. Consume, receive, have a good time. Be joyful. Hallelujah. 
The rest of us are going to have joy in giving because the Bible says God loves a cheerful giver. Praise God. So if you want to give it to the ministry today, I want to give you an opportunity to do that. If you want to, if you feel led to do so, if this ministry is blessing your life, help me please to do what God has called me to do. You know, Paul, the apostle, relied on partners. Did you know that? He relied on partners. Did you know that? He relied on the churches to partner with him to do his work. And we're all called to do different things in life. And some of you are not in ministry, so, you know, you're in workplace ministry. And you can look at your paycheck as an offering. But then, you know, the Lord is your provider. Some of you look at your paycheck as the end all. When the Lord is the end all, he's the provider. But some of you, you know, you don't have a, you're not in full-time ministry. Look at your job as a ministry and look at your paycheck as an offering and be, and be grateful and ask the Lord to multiply it. Hey, I just gave you a strategy. Hey, I just gave you a strategy. Amen. But Paul, the apostle depended on his partners, the church at Philippi. You know, he said, he said, when he said, my God, listen, when he said, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He was speaking in the context of how the Philippians had just given him an offering to continue the work of his ministry. Now, I do believe that, that you can take that scripture and just take it right out and just, you know, even out of that context and that God will still provide all your needs. But when we look at the context of what Paul was saying, he was actually speaking to his partners. Amen. And when we partner with God to do his work, he'll supply all of our needs. Some of you partner with him by working in Sunday school. Some of you partner with the Lord. You know, when you give to the Lord, he'll always give back. He'll, he'll, he'll make sure you have all your needs. But, but Paul was speaking to his partners. So I'm asking you today to become a partner. If, if, that, if this ministry blesses you, become a partner. Help me to do, help me to know what's coming in so I can plan the exploits that God has given to you. Become a partner. You can become a partner or you can be so a one-time seed at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. And when you become a partner, you receive a free gift every month. Just for you. I pick it out myself. Hallelujah. One day I'll be too busy to pick it out myself. But right now, I'm picking it out myself. Amen. Praise God. Every month you'll receive a free uh, love gift from the ministry. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate. Become a partner if you feel led. Or, be, or just sow a one-time seed. Help me do what God's called me to do. I'm going to pray for you in a moment. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. If you want to use PayPal. Hallelujah. PayPal.me slash Jennifer. Good morning, prophet. I have a word for you. Oh, I think I ought to share it right now. My website is jenniferleclair.org and all the ways to give are listed at jenniferleclair.org slash donate. Amen. Oh boy, you know who I'm talking to. I got your number, prophet. I got your number. You can use text to give 754-701-2161. 754-701-2161. Text the word pray, P-R-A-Y. Or you can use the P.O. Box, P.O. Box 30563. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Must sip coffee. Okay. Praise God. I think that was it. Let me pray. Father, I thank you for the anointing of the Spirit of God. I thank you, Lord, for the anointing to give. God loves a cheerful giver. And I thank you, Lord, we're going to give cheerfully. When you say give, we're going to say how much. When you say give, we're going to say hallelujah. When, we say, when you say give, we're going to say yes, Lord, because we know when you instruct us to give, you have a blessing in mind. Because you're not a taker God, you're a giver God. Hallelujah. I feel an anointing on this offering today. I really do. There's just something, some kind of clarity on it. I don't, some, some people are getting a revelation today. I don't know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you that you multiply this seed back to the giver, the givers in Jesus name. Help us to understand the principles of the harvest in the name of the Lord. We give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus name. 
Amen and amen. Hello, Susan. Praise God. Susan brought me a Starbucks card. Hallelujah. I used it up. Oh, I used that thing up on the way home. Hallelujah. Hey, Shekete, your blessing to the body of Christ. So good to meet you in person. Your compassion moved my heart, and I thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to remind you, some of you are not in the Supernatural Coaching Program. We do uh, Facebook Live videos in there almost every day. I, uh, uh, Scott's been doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Scott Neri, my partner in this coaching program, because... Um, I sort of had t took the task of building the site and getting all the admin up and running and creating the outlines and doing a lot of the back end work. So while I've been doing all that, he's been doing, you know, a lot of the Facebook lives. But we have a webinar once a month as part of the coaching program, and I'm doing the webinar this month, and it is on transitions. It's called Shift, and it's on transitions. And uh, so you will, uh, when you sign up for Supernatural Coach. Uh, program at supernaturalcoach.com you get one webinar every month but then there's like Facebook lives and and different memes and you're able to, to write in and ask advice and you know you're able to, to you know get counsel wisdom on different things uh, through that Facebook group collectively it's like it's gaining momentum I think we launched I don't know three weeks ago officially it's gaining momentum uh, and this month is the is when you sign up you'll get that automatically the webinar on top of the Facebook stuff it's going to be on May the 24th at 5 p.m. if you can't watch it live you can always watch it later but I'm going to give you keys to shifting I just feel like transition is a constant in life uh, it seems like if we're not in one in transition in one area of our life, we're in transition in some other area of our life, and it's just it's just constant. And so I'm going to be teaching and answering questions about that in a, in a webinar. Uh, it's all set up, ready for you to go. So if you want to be a part of that, you're going to want to sign up for Supernatural Coach. Now we will have a way if you just want to watch the, the webinar and don't want to be part of the monthly program, but it's it's more cost effective because there's a charge for it. It's more cost effective to be part of the program and get everything uh, all the time. Uh, but it will be after after May 24th. It will be uh, available uh, for you uh, if you just want to watch that. But it will cost more if you do it that way. It's kind of like when you when you uh, you know. When you when you buy the whole meal, it's 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 uh, it's uh, more economical than if you buy everything a la carte. Uh, same kind of concept here. So supernatural life coaching. Many of you just need some daily motivation, some encouragement, uh, some answers to questions that you don't know how to ask, uh, some wisdom and counsel over things that have plagued you for years and nobody can solve them, or you don't want to go to pastor because you don't want pastor to mark you as unstable. You have an opportunity here to deal with these sorts of issues in a safe environment. So go to supernaturalcoach.com. Amen. We had the writer's gold call last night. It was phenomenal. We had some hungry people on there who uh, were just asking such good questions. If you're a writer and you're not part of the uh, writer's network, consider being part of that. That wasn't that was the best call yet. We had one last month. It was it was good. It's always good. This one was really good. The wisdom the Lord was giving me was shocking me. I'm not a science fiction writer, uh, but I, I thought I gave some great advice and they were also happy. It made me happy to see people happy uh, on the call. Uh, Tamara uh, was on there. She's awesome. Dr. Tamara, follow her. Uh, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just enjoy it so much. Um, maybe it's just me. Uh, but I, but I, everybody was saying how, how happy they were with it. So if you, and there were supposed to be 11 people on the call, 11 people in that program. And they, I'm like, dear God, my Lord, you can listen to the replay, but it's not the same as being on. Uh, with the with because it's interactive. That's the whole part of mentoring is is interactive and learning from everybody and gleaning. Um, so that was that was there last night. The Writers Network is it right now? Uh, right now, what is it? I don't even remember what it is. Go to school. Go where is it? Right now dot network. <laughs> so many websites I can't remember. Right now dot network. It used to be up on School of the Spirit dot TV, and he took it down for some reason. I do not know why. I have to get him to put it back up there because I can't remember all these. Right now dot network. Amen. Uh, the uh, prophetic intercessors retreat. Uh, I think more people are talking about that yesterday. The prophetic writer, the prophetic intercessors retreat. I ought to do a prophetic writer retreat, but that's sometime in the distance. Let me go look here. It's on, it's a tiny URL, Prophetic Intercessors Retreat with me. I'll be teaching you. I'll be laying hands on you. I'll be imparting to you. We'll be fighting together, warring together. You'll get a behind the scenes look uh, at, uh, 
at uh, the Morning for the Holy Spirit prayer call. You'll be there live while I'm praying. Uh, we have a lot of details to work out, it's, it's, uh, uh, but, but it's there. It's there for you. Yeah, we have eight so far. I don't know exactly how many we can take. See, this was a, a sort of a we leaped out in faith and did it. Um, so I don't know how many we can actually take. We're going to have to get on the phone and, and look at some facilities and figure out the best way to do this and how many we can take. I don't want to, you know, to be too many people because I want it to be intimate. Um, we'll, we're going to take more than 10, more than 20. Um, I'm not sure how many yet. We've got to figure some logistics, uh, but we're going to do it in Kansas City. So we're going to soak together. Uh, we're going to pray together. We're going to prophesy together. Uh, we're going to get refreshed together. And so uh, if you want to get in on that, I would say sooner the better. Uh, I, I will uh, at some point announce how many we can take as soon as I know. I know it's, uh, it's at your area. Amen. Well, then you should go. Hallelujah. An inventor's retreat. Well, I don't know. I'll pray about that. That's that's a neat idea. Uh, so if you, I know Cheryl, you you're in on that. So um, we're gonna we're gonna eat together. We're gonna prophesy together. We're gonna fellowship together. We're gonna build relationships together. Uh, amen. And when you sign up for the retreat, I'm gonna give you the uh, year subscription to the AHOP TV and also a one month free in the uh, in mentoring the deep mentoring program for. Uh, the prayer, and if you're already in prayer, well, then we'll just shift you over to the to the prophetic one, amen. And so, I mean, this is just I think it's a great opportunity uh, for some of you who just really want to just stay connected and have a deeper understanding, and and also fellowship with me some. You know, I want to meet you. So, you, you, do I schedule your own hotel? Please go and uh, yes, you would schedule your own hotel. Please go read the details on the site. I don't want to spend too much more time on it. Um, but yes, please go to, I'm sorry, to give you the, it, yeah, I did, tinyurl.com slash prophetic retreat. We're trying to get a block of rooms so that it'll be cheaper for everybody, so just hold off, because it's not till August. We're trying to negotiate a block of rooms so that we can, um, you know, you can all have a discount on that, amen? We're not charging for the hotel, you'll get your own hotel, Amen. But we're trying to negotiate a block. So, but we have to know how many people are coming and da 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 da. So we will, um, we'll get through those details. And if anybody knows of hotels in that area, if you're from that area, you want to, you want to help us, you know, research that and you have a, a line in on that, let us know. Amen. As support at jenniferleclair.org. But go to tinyurl.com slash tinyurl.com slash uh, prophetic retreat. It's all my event right, but I thought it would be easier to create a tiny URL that would go straight to it. tinyurl.com slash e, uh, ta, 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 prophetic retreat. Amen. And it's also on my event bright. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. The I'll be in Chicago. If you're in, in uh, Chi Town, come out and see me on the 19th at All Nations Worship Assembly. And then uh, the School of the Seers is on Sunday. I'm going to be teaching on dreams. If you're not part of the School of the Seers, now's the time to get in if you want to teach, if you want to hear about dreams. Now, if you sign up now in order to get all the backwards and current uh, broadcasts, you need to sign up for the year plan, which is a lot more economical than the uh, than the, uh, the individual plans. If you sign up for the individual plan today, you're going to, you're going to start at lesson one, uh, because it's a school, it's a course, I lay a foundation. Uh, so if you, if you just go there and you sign up hoping to get dreams and you sign up just for the monthly, you're just going to get lesson one, which is not dreams. It's the foundation part. Amen. So you're going to, if you want to just get the whole, just get the whole course and you'll be able to watch one, two, three, and four. And then we do one new in a month. Why one a month? Because you need to absorb the month, the lesson of the month and press into that and get it in you. And not just, you know, jump to the next thing. Amen. So go for that. Making of a Profit webinar is on next Wednesday. School of the Spirit TV. And then the uh, Transition Shift webinar on Thursday. Supernaturalcoach.com. Amen. The Awakening Blaze interest call. We've got a couple hundred people on the Awakening Blaze interest call. So we are uh, going to continue to build that. Uh, Chuck Pierce is uh, praying into that for me, hoping to help me with strategy. He's been asking me some questions about that, and uh, he's praying. So I believe he's going to come back with something I haven't seen. Sometimes you're too close to something. Um, so we're going to be driving more intercessors to you all. 
Hey, amen. God is good. God is good. I've got a strategy. I think I don't have all the parts completely. I think that's why you lean on other apostles and prophets and intercessors uh, for that. The book launch, uh, the webinar, the free webinar, 101 Spiritual Warfare Tactics. Listen, the book hit number one in a different category last night on Amazon in paperback. Hit, hit, it hit number one, 101 Spiritual Warfare Tactics. Hit, hit number one on uh, Christian Prophecy section and uh, last night. Let's see if it's still number one. Is still number one. The thing that's deceptive about uh, these Amazon things where authors want to say I'm number one, sometimes you, listen, sometimes you stay number one for like an hour. Um, sometimes you stay number one for, for weeks. Uh, so, you know, anybody that has this whole big Facebook banner and talks about how I'm number one, they were number, they might have been number one for a minute uh, because it, the, 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 it fluctuates. See, it's not number one this morning. Um, but it was number one last night in Christian prophecy. But just even if you hit number one, it's a great thing. I've still got one that's number one that has been number one since since January 1st. And that is uh, the 18 Bible promises for 2018. 18 Bible promises, prayers and decrees for 2018. It's been number one uh, since uh since I released it, and it's stayed number one the whole time, which is, I've never seen that happen, so God is good. It's number one, uh, uh, yeah, it's still number one. So God is good. Authors, writers, I want to help you. Enroll in the writers, uh, publishers, the secrets of best-selling authors, uh, intensive. Now, that's the kind of thing you want to do an intensive on. We're gathering three uh, general, two generals in the publishing world, and, and myself, to, uh, to teach you how to go about getting your book published and, and trying to get that bestseller status. Uh, even if it's just for a moment, it feels good, amen? So God is good. Go to schoolthespirit.tv. Get involved with what you want to get involved with. Awakeningblaze.com. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to go. I'm going to do a teaching today because I haven't done one in a long time. So I'm going to turn off Facebook and turn Facebook right back on. And you can uh, join me back on, on Facebook Live in a moment, all right? So stay tuned.